Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're doing the walkthrough of the Jinta Valley Social Hub experience. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can do every quest, and uh, I'm also going to give you some tips and tricks. If I have any, I haven't looked in much into into all these quests, but at the last part of the video, there's going to be um, a way for you to do the Fighter Spirit quest in one minute and a half as you can see on the right side of the screen that's my best time so far okay so let's begin what you want to do here is a barrel roll which is basically clicking shift shift and then well you can e but sometimes it doesn't work for some reason and sometimes it does it hasn't been working for a while now and for some reason now it worked okay so we can jump through here if you get the jump right there we go let's go to here and here speak with this one they speak a lot i messed up Go back to respawn. The respawn command is very, very handy if you're doing these kinds of experiences when you're running around and stuff. It works pretty, pretty well. Okay. For this one, you can do the same. Just do a barrel roll. Go. Okay. This girl and then just go up i think there's another way of getting up there but i can't remember and i am already here so let's just keep going right okay okay my fault nice again okay this experience is very, very badly optimized, in my opinion. Like, I have a gaming computer, and it's pretty decent, not gonna lie. And it has crashed like five times already in 30 minutes or something. It's stupid how many times it crashed in such a short period of time. Or my computer just trashed, I don't know. Anyways, same thing here, you can do a barrel roll down there i don't think you can get all the way down there but you can get pretty close it didn't work but just fall through here and i don't know where that okay and go over there after speaking with this guy i just respawn like so And then just run towards this part and jump over here. There we go. Go to respawn again. So we can do more quests. Okay. Now let's go let's go down there. Let's do the fire part. Am I in the wrong path? Maybe. No, I'm not. Okay, now we're going to do the same, like, we're going to take the same path I've shown you right now. Which is going over here, over here, jumping over here, and just falling, picking with the panda, and there we go. That's the quest. Now, there's another one right here. I could have used the barrel roll as well, but forgot. Honestly. Thankfully, you, you don't need to speak a lot with these. So, you can do this pretty fast. 
This is a perfect quest to speedrun because you only have to click twice, I think. And this guy is going to ask you a few questions. And there we go. Let's go up. We're probably able to do these, this jump. Let's try to figure it out if we don't have to do another quest. But I'll try to figure it out after the quest. Okay, now I have to climb up. So we can go through here. And skip a lot of the parkour. There's another trick right here. That you can use, but it's a little bit... It's right here. Okay. Now you just climb up. And you don't need to do any more parkour. There we go. Oh, he's going to ask you a few questions as well. I can't remember them all, so I think it's high need, no? Fourth, second, no. Fourth. And one. Um... Four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay. Or one, three, two, four. I don't I don't remember. I think we have done all the quests. Let's do this one as well. This one is pretty simple. They speak a lot, Jesus. Okay, so let's go here. Pick with this one. Go back. I messed up. You can go back over here. I'm going to leave a video on the description for uh, if you wanna if you wanna speed run this this experience. There are a couple of videos that are very very good at speed running this experience. So I'm gonna leave a video for that. Because I'm messing up a lot on this video. Okay. Now, quick tip. You can go through here. Jump over here. Over here. And then over here. Just so you get to here quicker. Jumping these also helps you go faster, I think. So, do that, please. Now, let's go here. Okay, maybe it doesn't help you go faster. And we just proved that. <laughs> now, this is the part where it gets very, very tricky. Because for some reason, those um, donuts or something make your map lag. Uh, and the game lags a lot when, when you're close to them. Very weird. I think they're not like optimized for this map. Or for the game in general. But yeah, it's, it's weird how, how laggy this gets. Didn't get a lot right now, but usually does get very, very laggy. Okay. Okay, now speed run this map. All you have to do is follow the path I'm doing right now. Not the hard path. It's a very easy path in my opinion. You jump over here. This is the hardest part. Jumping this jump. And just let yourself fall over here.
if you miss a if you miss one of these because the the map didn't register it it's totally worth it to restart the whole thing in my opinion because you can do a whole better time if you don't uh, miss any of these this was a path that i uh, found almost by myself i've seen a video that i'm also going to link in the description that, that does a similar path i just took that and well did my variation i think it ended being better but yeah you can probably do a better um better one as well if I didn't miss that jump, I wish I would be in time. So, yeah. This is the path. You can do it even better if, well, you don't miss any jumps like this one. It can save you a lot of time. And also if you don't miss any of the voxel lights, I guess. You can, well, end it in a minute and a half. That's the path I took. So yeah, bye bye, see you next time.